Welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In today's video, I'm going to explain how we can create absence type in Oracle Axiom. What are the absence type? What does mean the absence type? Basically, all the various reason events activity for which a leave application may be raised can be treated as a absence type in context of Oracle Fusion absence management. An absence type, as the name suggests, refers to different types of absences like uh, sick leave, annual leave, vacation leave, marriage leave, etc. So let's move on to the application where we are going to perform this task. Click on the MyClang group and after that click on the show more option here, find the absences. And under the absences, you can see here the absence type. Click on it. Here, if you want to see the existing absence type, you can search here. These are the already created existing one. So for creating new one, just click on the create option. Here you can set the effective as of date and select the legislation information. And here you can see uh, there are three types of pattern for absence type, generic childbirth or placement, illness or entry. So childbirth refers to specific leave type uh, or we can say maternity leave and placement refers a specific assignment. Next is a, a generic absence. It covers the largest scope in terms of leave type, include annual leave, vacation leave, compensatory of managed leave, etc. Third one is the illness or entry. As the name suggests leave pattern which depends on an individual physical condition this pattern includes sick leave so let's see the example how to create an absence type to con conform to a, a specific leave policy of an enterprise so i say let's select, select the generic absence then continue Here you can see the four steps, type attribute, plan and reason, display features and action item. So let's see one by one here. Let's create the abs uh, vacation absence type leave. In this page, we can specify who can update absences of this type. Set maximum and minimum duration limits, enables the advanced absence entries function duration, uh, during absence scheduling. So let's fill the name for this absence type. Then select the unit of measure as a days and select the legislation. Select status as um, active. And then next is our duration rules. Minimum duration alert. 
here we can set the warning let's say yes worker can schedule an absence uh, whose duration is less than the minimum limit but display warning messages before allowing user to submit the absences okay so next is a min maximum duration alert here we can set error okay so here we can set the minimum duration so here we can set the two days okay then maximum we set the error uh, display an error message that uh, prevents user from submitting the absences or here we can set the maximum days limit duration is a uh, 10 days okay then partial set is a uh, not allowed okay then schedule hierarchy start point basically when you create an absence type you can select a starting point to indicate which level the application should start searching for a schedule uh, for example if you select to publish schedule the application start searching at that level and continues down until it finds the schedule or relevant work hours absence uses the schedule to determine the duration only if the absence type unit of measure it is hours or days and there is no conversion formula defined the schedule is it not used for other units of the measure so as set as a assignment hours detail okay let's move on to the open ended absence rule so i set as they are next is a multiple assignment rule so you can use the allow assignment selection and absence entry at absence entry and allow only one assignment per absence check box to configure an uh, absence type to ensure that all absences using that type will need to be entered for a specific assignment when you select both of these check box workers can only enter absences for specific assignment in the self service pages when you select only the allow assignment selection at the absence entry check box worker can enter absence for only a specific assignment or for all the assignment and if you don't select either of these check boxes the application will continue its default behavior and will not allow the entry of a absence for a specific assignment so here i select the allow assignment selection at the absence entry okay then next is a record and maintenance pane who can update absences record after submitting uh, the manager or workers only so here as enable employees and manager okay then attachment rule we set type all allowed here all type allowed and mandatory for employee and manager okay so let's move on to the next page which is a plan and reason here you can add the absence plan and absence reason uh for just click select and add and here you can find your absence plan which you created and add to it okay same as for the absence reason so our next is a display and feature here you can see the uses reason attachment command the employee self service do not display display only and display and edit and entry required you can set according to your need and 
we uh, we just selected this under the type attribute pages okay and if you uh, select the qualified entitlement detail you can add here and these are the approval and processing rules okay so this is the display and the features so last is the action item here you can add the certification doctor certificate or doctor snoot and if you create your own certification you can add here okay so let's save this so this is our absence type which is created let's save and close Let's search for the absence type which is created. So this is the absence type we just created. Let's open it, and if you want to edit something, you can just click on the edit and update option. Then these fields are enabled. So here you cannot edit edit the legislative data group information, and you can edit all other the information. So let's again save and close. So this is how you can create the absence type in Oracle HCM. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.